Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. I am just going to get this one running because I figured that we don't need to be doing the whole field with the fertilizer. So what I can do is I can put this one going down here. We'll, we'll do along this bottom edge of the field and we'll go back up to there. And then we'll put the hired help working from that side of the field over to here. By the time he gets over here, we will have finished... Uh, plowing up this bit and then it will be ready to go so we'll start off by doing that then we can go back and finish plowing up the edge of our new newly marked out field alongside where we've got our new track um, and then we can also get the lower part of the grass field marked out and done as well so we should be able to finish all of that and get the fertilizing done at the same time we will need lime down the side of the field in a strip down through there so we'll probably go and put that on at the same time although I was actually thinking maybe we'll just leave the lime we won't worry about that and instead we'll just wait until the whole field needs lime over it again and then we'll do it then um I, I just figured it would probably be a little bit easier if we do it like that and also yeah we're, we're gonna need to get lime back here anyway now we've got eighty thousand dollars at the moment which is not looking too shabby um we've got enough money that we can go and well i'm hoping that we'll go and buy a load of chickens and and we'll start getting eggs and stuff off of that and then i would like to get um well i was wondering about more sheep so there's another thing you know we'd have to seriously consider um and what else was it there was something i'm, I'm suddenly mind has gone blank i'm thinking there was something else that we were supposed to be saving up our money in order to get i can't remember what it was now what was i wanting to get that was going to be a boatload of extra cash so we've got that up there we've got these bits over this side i've got the chicken pen now i've got the big sheep pen in place that one's done there was something else. I know there was something else that we need that I wanted to get that was going to cost us extra money, and I can't remember what it was now. This is really, really going to bug me. Like you wouldn't believe, this is going to bug me. Um, it is completely whatever it was that I was adamant that I want. I, I know that I do want to. I, I want another tractor. I know that much. We do want another tractor. Um, possibly sell the smallest tractor and then get one. Right, I'll stop there a minute, and I will... No, I want to go this way. Like that. I'll just get this little bit right here. And... There we go, take that out. What on earth was it that I wanted to get? I cannot for the life of me think what it was that I wanted to get. I know there was something I was itching to get. I mean, we could do with some storage. We could do with, like, a barn for storing some stuff away. And then, beyond that, I'm currently at a bit of a loss. I just want to make sure that this one does go up round and get up to the top of the field and behaves itself in a reasonable manner. Uh, we're going to want to spend about 30 grand on lime. This one is our lime spreader, so I'm not really too worried about getting another lime spreader just yet. Uh, it'd be handy to be able to get one at some point, but it's not what I would consider to be an essential. So we can leave that for a minute. Now what are you doing? You're going to come down there. Are you going to... No, I don't think it will. I was wondering if it was going to leave a little tiny bit at the top end, but I don't think it's going to, so we can leave that one. A new combine would be nice. Getting a new combine is one that I would like to get. And... I'm just wondering if there's anything else, really, that I want to get. Ooh. Oh, no. Our line that we went and carefully made has, has now disappeared although actually yeah we will start we'll we'll make a new line here with this one because that's going to be something that we'd want to use anyway so i will go down through here we will go alt e you've got to do it twice still no idea why you need to do it twice but anyway we drive down through there like that and then i'll stop and i'll go alt e again and then control s like that auto width and i will Lower the width down by a couple of points there so that it's just a bit narrower than our thing. Snap terrain angle, show lines. That's looking pretty good. Right. 
Out of there, and there is our lines all done. I'll just back up round here. So a new combine, I think, is one thing that I definitely want to get. Now, a second sheep pen is another one that I would really like to get, and one that I think would be quite handy. I've got... There is a bit there that I want to do, because we've gone and, like, altered the edge of the field here a little bit. There's something in there. So we will go back into this one. We will go to landscaping, like this. We'll bring that in. And this one, I'm going to bring up like this, right here. And I'm going to lower that down like that. And then I'm going to press X like that, change ground type. And then we will tab through, and we will just go with the grass ground type. Actually, that's the wrong one. It's that one that I want. There. Like that, and I will just get rid of this little bit right here. There. There to do too much on it just take it back a little bit like that I think that's all I really want to do maybe out from the corner of there a little bit something like that I think that's, that's tidied it up a bit that's all I really wanted to do is just, just to make it look right and then the edge of the field where it is right now is actually just fine I don't want to change that although I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plough into the ground here um, so that we get a natural curve Sort of going over the edge of the field. So I'll drop that in there. And then this natural curve will come up here. So it goes near the edge of the field. A little bit like that. So it will come down this way. And I want it coming up over here. Like this. Go like that. And then bring that round. Sort of like that. There. I think that's going to be all right. I, I, I quite like that. Um, I was wondering about possibly extending it out a little bit further, but I don't think we want to do that. We don't want to go any closer to that wall right there. I think that's going to be plenty right where it is. So we'll leave that. I possibly came up a little bit too far, but I don't think I have, to be honest. I think that's going to be just fine right there. So I'll bring this, and we'll just plow out this little triangle right here. Um, we are going to be wanting to get cows at some point soon, aren't we? And we know that those pens are quite expensive. You have spoken loud and clear that you don't want me to get the Stevie animal pens in this series, so I won't do that. Um, I will avoid using the Stevie ones in this series, and I will only use those in like the Alps one. Um, so if we're going to get a second sheep pen, then... We're obviously going to want to save up a bit of money for that, but we don't need a second sheep pen right now. We've got plenty of space with the sheep pen that we've got at the moment, so we don't need to worry about that one. Possibly the only thing that I want to buy right now would be the um, uh, lime station. If I was to buy a lime station, that's one thing that we are going to want to use. It's quite a handy thing to have. Let me just put this one down here and just fill out this corner. A little bit like that. There we go. Just give us enough room to turn round properly at the top end here. And then we'll go in there like that. And I go Alt X so that it lines it up. I will lower the plow in like that. And we will plow right round the corner. And then away we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. We can follow this line all the way up across the field. The tractor with the fertilizer is doing a brilliant job. We can have a look in here. I'm hoping he's going to keep moving. And we can have a look at growth. So needs lime. We don't need to lime that one because it's a grass field. And then we've just got this little strip of lime that we will need down here, which I'm not going to worry about, I don't think, until we want to lime the entire field. Unless maybe I should go and buy the lime station. I mean, yeah, I know that, um, well, it's, it's another tractor that I was mostly talking about, wasn't it? I was mostly considering getting a new tractor. Why is that left a big chunk? Have I got something there that's causing it to turn round weirdly in the middle of the field? I think maybe I have. It's a bit disappointing. I thought we'd gotten rid of those. Never mind. Um, I'll bring you up to here like this. There's a little tiny bit extra there that's not quite going to meet up. I'll do that. You don't... I mean, like the edge of the field right here. If I'm not careful, I will end up 
making the edge of the field untidy. I could, you know, as it is, is is pretty good. I think. I'll drop that one down there. Oop, forward a bit, I think. Okay, it's a good job I did go forward a bit. And then we'll bring that down there. And stop. No more than that. Right, that's pretty good there on that edge, I think. I, I don't think we can complain about that. And then I'll drop this one in here because there may be, like, the odd little bit in here that's not properly done. Uh, Alt-X like that. Lower it down and away you go again. Fantastic. That's going to go up through there. Fertilizer. Yeah, th there's one little bit over there that it's missed. And I don't know if that was just because of where the rock is over there. That might be something to do with it. More likely, there is still a tree stump somewhere in the field over there. And that's what it turned around on. Although it didn't do that with the combine. It doesn't do that normally, does it? Like the Combine and the other machines, it's only when it's doing the fertilizer spreading, which is making me think that actually it's something to do with the big stone. And that's what has caused it. Now, next up, how is our field, our... Right, he does drive up to the wall, but then he turns around, he, he, does, he then backs up, and he sort of leaves that bit, and he, t he then does his turning around. He seems to do it all right going to leave a little bit of a triangle there but overall I think that's that's going to be all right up there right you stop there lift you out of the ground on round to the next bit so cows are one of the next things that we're seriously going to be wanting to investigate and where were you in there if we're moving on to cows, we're going to need to decide what to do about milk. Now, does anybody know of any mods that we can use to process milk before we sell it? I was kind of thinking that maybe we could do that, because the only thing about this whole hardcore series is we're sort of saying, like, the way that we sell things and the way that we buy things, we're a long way from Tipperary. We're a long way from anywhere. And as such, it means that it's going to be difficult for us to, ex like, it's, it's the whole having a daily delivery brought up for milk. This is the bit that I'm sort of wondering about. I don't know if I've pressed Y to stop it from digging into the field. So, as we're going to be, you know, we, we can't really expect a daily delivery. This is where the edge of this new field is going to be, along here. Although... That's nowhere near down there, and I'd kind of like the bottom edge of the field to be fairly straight. So, I mean, I could just go up here, and then that will give me the bottom edge of the field. Even that, though, isn't going to be right. So, we'll have the bottom edge of this bit of the field. can be further down, can't it? From the footpath over here, or from, from the entrance into the field, it can be down here. It can be this low. Right, so I'll sort of go about here. Like that. And I'll lower you in there. We'll allow the create fields again. And then I will drag one line along here. For the lower edge of the field right here. Because this is fairly smooth and even all the way across anyway. And it's wider now than we had it before. So we've lost a little bit of field. But that's that's fine. I'm, that, that is a small price to pay I think. I, I'm quite happy with that. And I'll bring that out to there like that there we go and then I will go from here I'll take that up and I'll just sort of meet that in there so that one wants to lower down there and I want to go up there like that so that's the edge of that one done helper D has stopped work unexpectedly tank empty it's got one tiny little strip down the... Oh, it does have also the bit in the middle to do as well that we've missed. So um, I will have to deal with that. And then we also got this bit over here to do anyway, this, this field over here. So we'll drop you in there like that. And do the next strip along here. And then this one will go along the top of where we come into the field there. So it's sort of got... An extra little bit over here. I might just kind of clean up around the edge of where it comes into the field. Just a tiny bit as well. 
So I bring that over to there and I will stop. So that's all, that's that's the edge of that bit. Then I'll come down here and we'll just push that across there. Like that. There. Spot on perfect, I think. There's one little bit over this side that we want to go and do. And then that is that field all finished. I've got it all marked out. And we've got the track all the way along as well. So the next thing that we really want to do is we want to start sort of focusing a little bit on doing digger work all the way down. Uh, not the digger work, the, the forestry work. We want to get those trees out so that we can get this field up and running. Right, Alt C to turn that off completely. And I'll just bring you down here onto the track. So we can get onto the track from any point in the field, really, up to there. And then this part of the track, you can't just climb into the field from here. So I may even put a wall along the top of this bank, or you know, maybe along the bottom of the bank. I'm not quite sure yet. Somewhere along there, we'll get one of these walls, and we'll put that along there as well. And we can come back into the yard like this. No trouble at all. Everything fits in there. That's, 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 that's actually looking really good. I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. I want to go back that way. Go to you. So we've got one strip down the side of the field here. And then I've got the grass field that we need to put some fertilizer on. And then there's another strip over in the middle of the field that we want to put a bit of fertilizer on as well. A bit, One little bit that was missed. And there's a couple of little spots here, but we'll ignore those. So there's that strip there of fertilizer that it didn't do for whatever peculiar reason. Looks like it came up, turned round, reversed up, and I, I, I don't really know why. It, it, it really does do some strange things when you've got corners in the field, doesn't it? Um, let's not concern ourselves with that too much. Now, we bring you in here, and we'll lower you down and open the cover like that, and then load you up like that. Um... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to decide what we really want to focus on next. You know, we, we've got the new sheep pen over here. We, uh, a new barn would be good. I want another area for a second sheep pen, so we will have that one. I've uh, got a nice big chicken pen there, and another chicken pen would be good as well, but we don't need to worry about it just yet. I want to finish that field before I buy the cattle pen, which we've got at the top. And then the last thing we're going to be worrying about is the pigs. And I am seriously considering having the big long field there as our arable field. And then turning this one here into a grass field. Um, and not that it really matters because grass is just another crop now. It's um, no longer like it used to be. Uh, so we've, we've got, it's just another crop that we can just plant in here instead of doing the arable crops in here. So it's, it's not going to make a huge difference. It just takes a little bit longer to get started when you first sow the grass into the field. Um, but yeah, we, we could easily have this here as grass production and crop production up there if that field ends up being a bit bigger because we'll want the slightly bigger one in order to do the pigs because the pigs are going to take quite a bit of crop. Now, a new combine is essential because of the pigs. The pigs mean that we are definitely going to need a new combine. Um, we're going to want to be able to do silage for the cows. And I was asking about that and how we should go about doing that. And how we should go about doing the silage. Whether we should do hay and silage. Sort of, I mean, hay bales. We, yes, we will do hay bales as we have done. Um, but whether we should do clamp silage... Do a thing of... Because we'd only need to do one, really. Uh, just one thing of clamp silage. But um, in here, should I use the like the cow feed mixer? Quite a few people said, yeah, go for it. Use the cow feed mixer. It's just as easy as using anything else. Um, the fermenting silo we don't necessarily need to use. We can um, make our own silage. We can either do bale silage, which we've done several times before. Or we can... Um, not do bale silage and well i'd say bale you know that we've done a few times before we've done a lot of bale silage with you know bale silage is the one that we've done more than anything else we've done loads of it so bale silage isn't a problem at all for us we can keep doing that uh we could try doing a clamp i'm less keen on the idea of doing a clamp i'll be honest i'd rather just we'll 
um, make the silage as we need it to keep the cows going. And then we need to be thinking about the pigs. And the pigs is going to be the biggest problem. We need to... We, we've got to be able to plant corn to have pigs, which means that we need a new combine so that we can harvest it. And we've got to be able to plant all the stuff as well for the pig. Uh, for the you know, Plant the corn and we you know store it as well. I mean, we've got beans right now. I've got a load of beans in storage. So I could just keep those back and we don't need, you know, if, if I was not to sell those... We're getting some decent income now coming from the sheep with the wool and we will have from the chickens as well with the eggs that we get from those. So it's not like we're going to be short of money coming in. Plus we've still got all the trees to come off of the field that we're working on right here. All of those trees there. That's another big pile of income. Um, we could be just about ready to seriously take on the pigs. Um, we can sort of lay in some supplies with grain we've done a load of barley we've done beans so and um, we're doing oats this time and this is going you know, oats is the cash crop one so if we get the oats in the ground we've got more money that will come back from there from selling both the straw and the oats themselves and then after that then the rest of the grain we make for a little while we grow for a little while could just be kept back um if we get enough money here soon enough we can have the uh we can have a crop of corn planted in the field ready for the pigs get that grown after the oats so that could be the next one after the oats is we could grow corn in the field and then we basically we're, we're sort of getting set up for the pigs all of those trees that we've got there they will just about cover the cost of the cattle pen and hopefully the pig pen as well because I'm quite happy to build the pig pen and get that one set up quite a ways before we actually get the pigs here. Um, cows, I've said right from the beginning, I want to put cows up there. And I'm thinking that we'll put pigs up there with them. Although I am considering leaving the pigs down there by the yard because that's where our grain storage is. So it would certainly make it easier if I kept the pigs down there. The cows can be up here out of the way. Uh, but if I do have the pigs down there, am I going to put them? i to clear a load more trees down the bottom end there so that the pigs have got... Uh, we've got space to put in the pig pen. Um, and that... I mean, yeah, that, that's going to get us more money. Which And that extra money then can go towards buying additional cows. Because I don't just want to buy 10 cows and then wait for their numbers to slowly build up. There is no way. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that I am going to do that. We're going to be putting money into... and So ideally we want cows and pigs being started at around the same time. So if we can get both the pens up and running, that would be really good. Although the cows are certainly the ones that will make us the money early on. Pigs make money... They're, they're the, the longest term investment. Cows will start to make money back pretty quickly because of being able to sell the milk. I just got to decide how we're going to sell the milk. I'm thinking that we will do something similar. Um, we will have something where we measure out the milk and, and we take it over to the sell point and we sell it like that. Um, and so we sell milk because some farms here in the UK, uh, some have their milk collected every single day. Some, I know that I've left a little tiny bit there. Um, some have their milk collected every single day. Some farms have their milk collected every two days and some even hold their milk for three days now before it's collected depending on how much is accumulated so we could just say the milk will be held until we've got x amount in the tank and then we sell it after that i mean at the moment what are milk uh, their, their prices prices at the moment we have got beans are one three six seven barley is up to five five nine Oats there are a fraction under 900. That's pretty good, I think. Well, I don't know. Eggs are on the up right there. Milk is 1247 right there. So we can just wait till we get a good price and then say um, sell a minimum quantity of milk, which would be... Uh, is it under animals? It is under animals. 8,000 is the small tanker, and then the large tanker is 32,000. I would, at a guess, I would say 
that that would be the type of tanker that would turn up such long distance. Although, if there's another milk farm not that far from us, we could start off by saying, yes, he'll take it in 8,000 you know, 8, at a time. So it takes 8,000 litres and he disappears, but it's got to be 8,000 litres at a time. Um, although most tankers, if when they do the trip, they will they don't have to fill up at one farm. They will go around multiple farms and just take whatever they've got. So we don't necessarily have to have a set quantity for milk. Milk, um, a lot more open to how we can go about doing it. I, I've not really made up my mind on that at all yet. I haven't really decided. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that bit. Uh, the actual pen for the animals here. The large cow pasture is 300,000 and the large pig enclosure is 250. So we're going to need $550,000 in order to be able to buy them uh, or to buy both of them. And the land over there is very uneven. So it's going to be difficult to get things set up so that we can get the cattle pen and the pig. Well, I think it's probably best to put the pig pen down there um, just so it's closer to the other stuff that we've got. But yeah, it's, it's going to take a while to actually get that in place. Right. Oh, no, wait. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll move this one out of the way. So this one I want to sell, and I want to buy another combine so that I'm going to be able to get the um, grain. Uh, the, the, yeah, to, to get the grain to so that I'm able to harvest the grain for the pigs. And that one is going to be, if we look in here, we've got harvesters. We've got the Bison Super at the moment. 84,000. Um, it's not really the harvester that we want to be looking at. It's the header for the harvester, which is in here somewhere. Corn headers right there. That one there does actually fit our Bison Combine, so we don't need to change over. Then you've got this one here, which goes on TX32 Nova 330. I'd like a bigger Combine anyway. I think it would be better if we could upgrade our Combine, but it turns out that that's not essential. That one is 3,540 in the tank. This one does 5,600. It's 100,000. That one's a smaller tank. It's slower. What's the advantage of having this one? Why would you take that Russell Mash over that New Holland? Um, slightly more powerful. Smaller tank. What have we got under headers? Maybe the header is bigger. Maybe that's why. Four meters. Ah. A bigger header, and it can also take that one as well. Um, so you got the Capello there. And what about, I would assume... Oh, no, wait. We, we need to look in here. Corn headers. Does it? Is it that one? Or has it got it? The Nova 330. It's, it's the same. The Corn Champion 5R is the same one that goes on the Combine. So it would be that one right there. That takes the, the Corn Champion there. And that one takes a corn champion and then TX32. So that one's got a bigger header on it for 105,000. And we have that one for 100. And then you've got a big step up, right? The, the level of combine goes up there. Another 100,000 on that. Or we've got these over here. That's rather expensive. You've got that one. That one's the... Uh, yeah, you've got these two mods here. The Axial Flow takes the corn champion and the 1030 header. The Dominator over here, which is an classic old combine absolute classic old combine right there um let's go and have a look in headers in here we'll have a look up through so you've got that one there is a five meter header which would go on the dominator uh the class one there is a bit smaller at 4.3 and then you've got that one at 5.5 meters over there the very feet 18 feet so we could have a class dominator in here that would be quite a cool one to have uh, corn headers, as far as we're concerned on here, we don't have anything extra, really. Uh, I don't think that one would be suitable. So you're looking at one of these smaller ones, probably that one there, I think, with the combine. Let's have a look, see what it says. Uh, C, uh, C510. Okay, I don't know. That one's got the corn champion, the berry feet. That one's corn champion. It's probably the corn champion on the Dominator. So I'm, I'm actually thinking that maybe the Russell Mash would be good. It's got a 5-meter header on it. Uh, that one's got a 4-meter header on it. Both of them will take the Corn Champion. So we, we, we need to sort of have a little think about that. And go one way or the other. I'm not quite sure which way it's going to go yet. Right now, I want to get oats being planted. So if I'm going to start planting... 
I'd like the chickens, to, before we do the planting of the oats though, I'd like the chickens to be finished first. I'd like that to get done. So we will start our planting in the morning because we've got to put time scale down to one time speed when we come to doing our planting, otherwise it doesn't work properly. Uh, we end up with uneven growth on the crops and that would be just criminal. So there's no way that we're going to do that. So we'll wait until the tractor is finished doing the fertilizer over there, which is almost done now anyway. Um, we'll hose off this combine. We could, we're very likely going to be doing our next harvest with this combine. We'll take good care of this one. And then once this one's done, we will have eventually, um, we will be getting another combine so that we've got a better chance of like uh, harvesting stuff. Because even though this one does have a corn header it can take, that's going to take a very long time. And I'd rather go for a bigger combine and get a bigger corn header to go with it. I think that would just work out a little bit better for us. So that's in an ideal world. So I'd like to try and do. Let's go and put you back over on here. And then I'll jump on here. I'm going to back this one uh, round over to there. And I'll get this one repaired. Like that. Bring you down to there like that. Ooh, go over to this side there. And... Repair that one, yes, and then repair that one as well, yes, like that, job done, fantastic, go and park this one in the shed and then we will go and see how our fertilizer is doing, if that has finished, I've got a load of stuff that I need to wash and get put away over here, that's going to be one of the next things that we want to do, I should technically um, cultivate the stuff that we've plowed, but I'm not actually going to worry about it this time, I know that I should be doing it for a re for realism. We should cultivate what we've ploughed because a um, uh, a direct drill, even though it's a direct drill, it doesn't do well going into ploughed land. Um, with a direct drill, you either go into unploughed land, which is what it's designed to do, designed to go into that. Um, this it won't break it down into a fine tilth, so it's not actually supposed to do that. Um, but we're going to ignore it this time. I'm going to choose to ignore it. I didn't even see this one get a message to say that it stopped. Probably just not paying attention. Right. So we will spread fertilizer on this last little strip right here. There was a triangle over there. As I'm up here, I will do the little triangle. And then we can move on again. So if I'm putting in a cattle pen up here, it's going to take more than the 300,000 that it costs to buy the cattle pen in the first place definitely going to take more because of the hugely uneven terrain that we've got here and because of that hugely uneven terrain it means that we're going to need I would say probably an extra fifty thousand dollars in order to be able to get the cattle pen installed and then we're going to have to do a load of landscaping and shuffling stuff around like just just moving things and putting in some tracks and stuff in order to make it right so it's going to be quite a bit of work to get that fully installed get that all done i'm going to fast forward time now until just until the chickens have got the water installed although i'm thinking i'm looking over there i don't see it anymore it might be finished it may have now been done we can run it through until five o'clock looks like no or is it i know i've left the tractor running it has been finished look at this excellent right we will buy chickens in our next episode because I've run out of time today. So our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to buy chickens. We will get them some water in here. We will get them some corn in here. And then chickens can start producing us a boatload of eggs, which is going to be fantastic. That will come in our next episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time... Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.